How do you know that you are dealing with a narcissist? Oh, you will know them by their spiritual fruit. Just as we are to know our spiritual brethren by the spiritual fruit of the Holy Spirit, we can definitely spot the fruit of the unholy spirit of the narcissist. The unholy trinity of narcissism is defined as this, superiority, entitlement, and your attention. When these three spiritual seeds are in your crosshairs, you can be on the lookout for dangling spiritual fruit of that spiritual unholy tree. It's seen in the form of gaslighting, and gaslighting is used as a tool for control. It is a deceit by manipulation, as the intention in the gaslight is to malign and undermine. It keeps the intentions and behaviors of the narcissist hidden. It is used to gauge your vulnerabilities as the narcissist attacks your emotional weakness with the gaslight. It is used to maintain a sense of superiority over you as the narcissist desires control over you so that they can constantly siphon from you your negative energy so what does gaslighting look like oh honey when the narcissist starts talking you'll know nothing that the narcissist says can be trusted gaslighting takes on many forms of manipulative conduct and, and the narcissist can be so good at this that you won't even see them coming you won't even know that you're being manipulated but who doesn't like a compliment now and again a pat on the back for a job well done. Well, when the narcissist compliments you, they're puffing you up as they are propping you up to blow smoke out your high knee. As compliments are a duck and cover move to deflect attention off the narcissist, to evade the wrong kind of attention, or they are actually locking in your attention so that they can siphon from you positive reinforcement for themselves later on so that they can maintain a sense of entitlement and superiority. Another tactic is that the narcissist may appear to be helpful to others in time of need. Rescuing is a form of abuse, my friend, and it's the narcissistic tool that they will use later on to emotionally blackmail you to keep you beholden and loyal to the narcissist. Gaslighting is also used as a means to punish you. The narcissist will nag, yell, and keep the argument alive. They will sulk and give the, you the cold shoulder. They will go silent for days and weeks and they will put you down by cussing you out using swear words that deliberately offend you as they do all of this to try to hang on to and maintain their sense of superior superiority. They will also turn off and on those crocodile tears in a heartbeat to get attention from you. Gaslighting serves to irrationally rationalize a situation by minimizing the damage the narcissist has caused. Narcissists excuse their behavior as they won't, take, they won't take the blame and take responsibility as they try to convince you and themselves that what they did for, was for justifiable reasons. Guilt tripping and shaming, playing the victim are also forms of gaslighting as it is also a way to steer away from uncomfortable questions and topics. The narcissist has avoidant behavior and will avoid important issues at all costs, even you. The narcissist uses gaslighting tactics in attempts to evade questions that they don't want to answer, and they will appear to be coy and charming to diffuse your anger and to deflect your concerns so that they won't be held responsible. Oh, and don't fall for this trick. The narcissist will use seduction as a way to control you. It's for their selfish gain. Having makeup sex is a form of trauma bond, and it's a part of the need to control. Without control, their unholy trinity that makes up their beings actually falls apart. The more I look into narcissism from a spiritual lens, I can see that how I can see how everything that they do is an attempt to keep that unholy trinity intact. Does the narcissist want to control us? Absolutely. That makes them feel superior, but the narcissist needs to control people and situations because the narcissist is opposite of God. God allows us to use our free will. The narcissist manipulates our free will because that is the only way that they can keep from feeling unwanted and worthless. Once you suspect you are being manipulated with the gaslight, don't engage. Shut down the conversation with your silence. You don't owe the narcissist your attention, and you certainly don't owe them an explanation as to why you would no longer want to engage. You can simply excuse yourself from the conversation by saying as you walk away, I gotta go.